We're down here under Dover Castle in the Napoleonic casemates, built around 1800 as barracks. Uh, they were reoccupied at the start of the Second World War. These were really pivotal um, command headquarters because they were the main centre of operations for Operation Dynamo, the evacuation of Dunkirk in 1940. Over nine days, 338,000 men of the British Expeditionary Force and their French and Belgian allies um, were returned to safety here in Britain. In letters that we have from people who are here at the time, it's described as every brass hat, in other words, everyone who was important in the country, came here and worked out the best way of getting as many of the soldiers, the surviving British army, back over here. And that was going to take an enormous effort, not just from the Navy, the little ships, the fishing smacks, the sailing boats, the even sort of pleasure boats, paddle steamers. And it's from the tunnels under Dover that um, the command headquarters put together this major operation that originally was only meant to last for four days and rescue a maximum of 45,000 men. And we can see why they call it the miracle of Dunkirk, because after nine days, 338,000 men have been returned to safety here in Britain, the core of the British Army. The great thing about coming to Dover Castle, that here in the tunnels, you'll be able to experience and feel the atmosphere for yourself, what it was like for Vice Admiral Ramsey on the 26th of May, 1940, when that message came through from the Admiralty ordering him to start the evacuation of Dunkirk. <laughs>